Hello, um, Daniel and John here, back with another one of our famous unboxing and product review videos. And I'm all slippered up. And you'll slip it up your shorts on, which is delightful. So, this is, if you're looking at buying cordless vacuum, obviously you might have searched this model number. This is the Vax cordless slim vac. The model number is TB TTV 1B1, right? Um, this features a handheld and stick vacuum. So basically that means you've got handheld on the whole street carpet around the home. And you can also reach up high with it and use it on carpeted and laminate floors. So this, this particular model features a lithium ion battery. That's important. The other important thing is 24 minutes run time. The battery is 22.2 volt and it takes five hours to charge. As you'll know, you can get different battery sizes, 32, etc. This one sort of in the, in, the, in the middle. It's got a two year guarantee. I don't know if you have to send off for that. Uh, powerful effortless cleaning, yeah. The head is motorized and that's important for picking up hairs and dust in the carpet. And the brush bar comes on and off if you've got laminate flooring. Um, steerable as well, so the head when you move in the head will turn, but we'll show you that we, this is going to be quite a good review for this. We'll try and keep it in depth, okay? Now, as you you may notice, we have something else along with this. I did actually, it was an extra thing 10 quid for part of it when you bought. I did purchase the Slimvac Pro Kit. Now, this allows you to do upholstery properly without using this head on here, which you don't want to damage it, so that's that's that one soft um, for doing soft dusting so that's like blinds it even has a mattress tool and a flexible crevice tool for reach under appliances and other hard to reach areas um, I've got to say it's all very nicely packed and it is what I would expect from Vax we've had Vax vacuums for years we've been using the corded ones mains corded but now it's time to uh, right get with the program right so this is as it arrived. This is that yeah, this is as it arrived without our, our dress and details our on the front. Motivation for, uh, for purchasing it was just to make life a bit easier. For the pe people that are hoovering at the house. Which Bottom is line. all of us basically. Okay. Now now how what we're doing here then, so it's not come along off, off the bottom. Oh, no, oh it's up the top, so it's a thing off the top then. Right, okay. So I need to slice that. Yeah. This is from Amazon. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it was. I think it was about 110, 120 when I bought it. And I think those kits are about £20 normally, but it was reduced a bit because I bought it for that. Yeah, there's quite a bit of cellar tape on this. Right, okay. This, for some, for some reason, that. they seem to have sort of so, so you can't... sellotaped the carry handle. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure not why that is, right. but okay. No, let's lay it flat because obviously it comes out, lifts up. Then you've got to take the sellotape tape off it. there. As well. I'm guessing to stop people from pinching stuff out of the box. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, so. So let's start with the basics first. Obviously, the boring bits, the manual. I mean, that's just gonna let's have, let's have a look through it a minute. So it looks fairly comprehensive. It'll just tell you about charging Take and care. what to do with it and what not to do with it. Is that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, if you're sensible enough, you don't really need to. Uh, it's got post motor filter, so you want to keep that clean. Um, Top tip: keep your filters clean. Yeah, keep the filters clean. Then what you're using will run right, a bit like your car. Right. Keep it all so top it, top that out first. Okay, that's like the. They're obviously some sort of. Uh, it has a wall bracket so for charging for and keeping all the there's accessories with it. Right. Okay. Um, good thing about this, depending on your point of view, um, so the polystyrene's got cardboard in there, which is good, so it's recyclable. Yeah, because that polystyrene, that white polystyrene, is a bit of a bugger to get rid of. Oh, no, Oh, it pulls out, right. So it's okay. like... There's two tools. So, no, it does go in there for some reason. All oh, right, so you can use it for... It says device. it has a three-in-one three one crevice tool. I'm guessing yeah, this, this is, is it. This is it. And that takes stuff off, like pet hairs and stuff. Yeah. 
we'll give we'll give a demo of it anyway in a bit. Uh, that's the bracket. It's self-explanatory. I think the Two Hoover, holes. the vacuum actually goes on that, and you have yeah. the accessories like that plugged into it. We'll work that out in a bit. Got box. Um, I'm guessing this is a charger. These look like fairly decent screws. These do. Nice to get usually screws on very good with things. At least they've coordinated the screws as well. Yeah, back. so it matches um, the. And they've got some nice caps. Caps, yeah. So go in there. So, so yeah. Right, uh, some sort of charger or something. Battery. So it takes five hours to charge this model, which if you once a day, I suppose, mm. every couple of days. Okay. Let's have a look at that a bit better than that. So that's one battery. That's a battery though, that isn't it? Yeah, this is the battery, yeah. Right, you get one battery. Nope. Oops. Let's get rid of all this cardboard. Like I say, at least it could be recycled instead of the polystyrene. You've got to get rid of it somewhere. Right. You can break that stuff up easy as well. So, DC adapter. We'll just come back to this video in a few minutes. Uh, welcome back to the video. I just had a phone call I had to answer. Right, so where were we? We are looking at this adapter. So, let's so look at this. What is this? Just for information's sake. Oh, 26 volt. Wow, that's quite a lot of voltage. Normally they're like 12 volt. Obviously that'd be more. So that's yeah, surprising. Okay, so that's the, that's the adapter. We've got the battery, right, what's next? So this is the main handheld unit. Incredible how small these things are. Now, with anything like this, weight's going to be important. Now, how heavy is that? Would that, ache, would that ache your hand if you were using it? No. If you saw me no. looking in the box then, or looking down, I was looking for the container that went on, but clearly that doesn't have one. So, right. So, should we just show where the, the charger goes in? So, we've just done the charger, so it plugs in there. It's got a fairly long lead on. I don't yeah, know exactly how long this handy. is, but um, if we just want to tape measure, if we just show like that's how long it is you, from I'll there tell to you there. Yeah, I've made a good product. Stretch over there a minute, Daniel. Yeah, this is our this is our rule of thumb. This is our test for how no word of a for lie. measuring for measuring. Right, if it's for me, it's as long as the average bloke. <laughs> that is quite a long DC adapter. Now but... I'm about five foot nine. And so as you can see, it's it's about as long about or longer than. It's about five foot nine. It's about five foot nine. Yeah. Which is quite a bit. And the only problem now, I've got to get up. So this is how we measure things. We yeah. we apply the length of a man, as you see with our swimming pool video. It's like high tech. Stuff. Anyway, that's that's that bit done, yeah. right? So. It's just easier because I can't find a tape measure, so that's. I'm trying not to make this video too long, but. Right. So. It is what it is. So this is the unit. So as you as you can see. You, we have, as you can see, you, pl you plug it in the back and charge it. So th this is the main battery. So that just, presumably, that just slots right, in. Right, so the reason I'm doing this is because... Oh, that looks like that slots in. Oh, wow, that slots right. in there. ain't coming out, Jesus. Oh, hang on a minute, it's just come on. It's got a trigger there. So it? how easy is it to get out? Oh, right, so push it in, and when you press it to release it, it jumps out so itself. It's spring loaded somewhere. So okay. Nice and easy. Obviously, it'd get a bit easier if you used it. So that's spring loaded. Right, battery in. What's it say at the back here? Clear, clean, clean. and filter frequently. Oh, what's that about then? How is it? To... Oh, right, okay. I don't know if that's washable, but it might be, but I'd have to look at the manual. Hang on a minute. Put that down for a minute. Right, so oh, that just pulls off. Now, what I would say is don't try and rub this if you're going to wash it. Just I don't know if it is washable. Through. I'm guessing it. It looks washable to me. I'm guessing it would be washable. Take it from me, I'll be washing it. Okay, well, we don't want to damage it, so. I'm trying to look at the manual here and just well, find it in it. Because obviously we've just opened the box, so this is as you would. That's detail, people can look up, Daniel. Yeah. Right, what, yeah. I would, what I would do, if you're going to wash these or rinse them, rinse them, and if you've got a salad dryer, the thing you whiz round with your lettuce in, stick that in there and it'll dry it. Yeah? Okay. So let's push that back in. Right, yeah, okay, I don't know. Yeah, but anyway, it's so nice and easy to get yeah, out. Yeah, it's yeah. very easy. I think you just take fluff off of it and yeah. put it in the bin if you want. Right, clicks back in. What's it? There is something here actually. 
continuous power latch. Oh, so it has a black thing at the side here as well. Right. So that keeps it on rather than having to keep your finger on it all the time. So you can, so there's a switch there, power switch and a continuous power latch they're called. So I can do that and you can do that and it stays on. That's quite a good feature. Yeah. Noise wise, it's not that noisy, is it? It sounds like no. a, sounds like a corded, a corded right. vacuum. So is there anything else on here? What about the dust container? And there's yeah. some, There's a button on the top here as well. What does that do? Brush roll on off. It's to do with the, the brush. Right, that's to we'll do with the brush minute. roll at the front. Right. Got a now, the other problem we had uh, here is people struggling to get the container off our old hoover. So when you empty on, this... Let's get a shot of that then, so we how, can actually see it. How easy is it to empty? What? How do you open that then? Oh, you push it down. Oh, you push down. You'd think you'd pull up, but you push down. So you would go to a bin and just empty that so yeah. you're not getting all over you. Yeah. Um, it does have a filter inside as well. I'm not sure how you get to that yet. I guess I'm you can just you... twist it off. It has something, so... Yeah, it's got, it's got a padlock just there. Oh, it twists. So... Oh, the padlock is going anti-clockwise to unlock it. So go anti-clockwise. So you so you turn it anti-clockwise, and this is just like a mess. You could just, you Wash just it, rinse it. go like that with your finger and get the fluff off. Yeah, let's see how easy it is to put um, back on. All right, so, then, that, so if you just push it in and guide it, so it goes on, that's fine. Do you just, twist it, twist it clockwise to secure it? Did you hear it. that click? Yeah. So just twist it. Right, basically to undo it, so people know it's to the end of the nozzle. To undo it, it's anti-clockwise, and to do it, back up you push it up and twist off clockwise. on so yeah. nice and easy that's easy that's the dust container that's right. the filter that's a lot of this is right. um that's this thing here is we'll the brush roll which is on the connection there i'm guessing oh and when you put it on it's got a nice green light so i'm guessing if that changes from green it might it might need to charge right so i don't know now okay right so this goes into the vacuum it's got like a two pin thing here it's obviously some sort of electronics. Yes, for that brush bar. So bars, you, that, I think. you, let's get it so people can see it. So when inserting it, there's a blue button at the top. You press that down. Again, it's got a recess, so you know it should go in there. You might just push in by itself, and the button then li un takes it off. Yeah, it, it does. pushes in by itself, and then the in. button then unloosens it. Okay. All right. Um, a little bit of movement there, but nothing that would give you any. So. So still fairly light. Still fair, yeah. So this is for if you're using it on normal carpeted floors or like this. So what does Hard this have floor. on it? And right. Then? Before we put this in, I mean this moves left to right, up and down. And again, there's pins in there, so this is I think provide the power to that. So this is a little motor in there. Right, again. Which is um, good for dirt and debris and things like that. Have. Clicks in. Clicks in there, yeah. No, you have to press the... Oh no, it does click... Oh no. That's just me being staffed. Okay. Right, so... So let's do it. the brush and then, Yeah, so this is obviously like actually now, running. If you're focusing on the bottom there, I'll turn it on. Yeah, you don't do it on there though, do you? No, it's got an upholstery tool yeah, for that. Fine. Yeah, all right. Well, look, there's some dirt there. Pretty good. Look, we've got doggies, so there's dog carriage picking up. I'll tell you what I like about it, we've got a sideboard there, look. Get it on that, Danny. Now that is a real low sideboard. I need to 
charge this. I need to charge yeah. it. So it's now saying yeah. charge. Yeah. Okay. So what? We'll, okay. So we'll be we'll be honest. I think you're supposed to get it out of the box and charge it, but. But okay. So but red it's flashing and he's charging. And he's charging. Yeah. I think what you're supposed to do is just charge it when you get it out. But obviously we're doing a video, so. But right. you get the point. Um, okay, so. It's a trigger, you're pressing the trigger. No, it beeps. When it is charging, it beeps. Listen. It makes like a little sound, when yeah. When it is charging, it beeps. Okay, okay. It's probably because we've got this turbo thing on. Well, that'll use more power, won't it? Yeah. Anyway, so, 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 okay, so let's, so, obviously that's, that's like a stick vacuum, isn't it? So we yeah. do carpet. So you can then take this thing off here and put it directly on. And you can also use this stick as like for reaching yeah. up high, high to reach places. If we just do those bits, yeah. and then like you can use it on the stairs. That way you like, you know what you can use it for. So you can do normal hoovering, which is if you're replacing a corded. Vacuum. So, like, if we used to do the stairs, see that's quite new. So this, let's see. right? So let's find. So some, there's a few bits on the stairs here. Some bits on there. Look. Let's excuse us. Yeah, put this on. Go on. Yeah, in there. I'll tell you what, it's a damn sight easier than looking at other things. Oh, that's so easy. And look, you, you can get right, you can get everywhere with it. Get real up close. Brittany will probably get on them. There you can. It's good because you can manoeuvre. Right. So, really easy to okay, manoeuvre. So, yeah. So that's the stairs done. So if we do like a high up thing, and then that'll be sort of the video. Yeah, one thing it, it, it needs it needs charging. So when you get this, just give it a full charge, okay? So, so we don't want to like damage the battery. So we're gonna push that back in. And we might use something like, I don't know. This thing, this is quite good. Because you can use that on its own. Yeah. We can put it in like that and use the brush. Yeah. Or you can put it in that way and use this thing for probably curtains. I should think that's for. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's for, but so, that, obviously that kit has got a load of stuff in it as well. It's obviously summertime. Don't have it off. We don't have a cobwebs really in here. Well, so I'll tell you what, look. It's got yeah, it's picked look. up loads that has. Loads and loads. And that's been hoovered and recently. It's been hoovered recently. So, so you that's can pretty see how good. efficient it is. So if we get a high up. I'll tell you what I'm going to take take down. This is there's, there? there's a cobweb up here. Yeah. There's a cobweb. Now I'll tell you what, that's a daddy. Yeah, there is. Look, just there, cobweb. Yeah. Right. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. So you can reach up really high with it, and it's light. Um, What's well, just if you're holding it, reach doing cobwebs. Dominant hand on the trigger. Sorry, not your dominant hand on the trigger, dominant hand on the pipe. Yeah, let's take this one out, one here. See, otherwise you'd have to stand on the stool and all sorts, as you're getting older. Yeah, no, it's neat, and I reckon, it's a shame they haven't come up with it, but if you had a bit of an angle thing here, yeah, with, with your brush, you know your brush thing on, so you could do the tops of things like that. You probably can. You probably can do it somehow. What do you reckon? No, it doesn't quite. It's a shame that you, shame they haven't got a swivel end for this that you can do tops of things like that on. Yeah, but it probably would suck stuff up. But I can hear it sucking something up, so... Tops of doors. So that's the three modes, basically. Um, we've got so... a live one there, look. Yeah, so the only thing we haven't used is the... Uh... Well, that's the... So we've used the main floor head, haven't we? We've yeah. used it on the floor. 
good carpet or laminate, it's up to you. And then, um, is this for pet hair and stuff? No, this you, this is for stairs. Yeah. And obviously, like pet tool would be right. in this kit here. So if we put some few bits back in there, let's get rid of that. Put the bits back in there. That's taken a fair bit up. Yeah. And it has been hoovered. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty good. This is just a little bit of dog hair, so we've got two dogs. Right, so this is the Stax uh, Slim Back Pro Kit. Yeah. Yeah. That comes with it. This is an optional extra, but it does give you a bit more cleaning versatility. Oh, it's got a nice bag. Good. Oh, right, yeah. Do you know, I wonder, I was asked if this had a bag or not to keep these bits in, and it does. So, you've got your leaflet. That's pretty, pretty. Got your bag. See, this is the thing about these products, is they're thought about. They're not just, oh, you know, you'll have to put up with it as ah, a consumer. Right. If they so thought when I was about, on about um, I'm not going to turn this on. I'm just going to show what this is for. Does it fit? Does it fit at the back of radiators? That yeah, it's for that. Yeah, basically. So you can get right down the back there. Yeah, that's what that's for. Okay, so that's handy. So really, this quality stuff. Some well. of this stuff's here for hard to reach areas. Good quality. Good quality. Yeah, that is good quality. What on earth is that device for? That is for mattresses. The hoover and dust out of mattresses. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it obviously sticks on that yeah. as well. Right, I guess that works. Um, I mean, not that you would be doing that all the time, but I don't know what that's for. What is that from? for? Blinds. Blinds? Ah, oh, slatted blinds. blinds. So that's handy because they are... They, they can get so dusty. They can be really difficult to clean, like yeah. that, and they're delicate. And then that one there is just uh, an upholstery brush. So that's if that's for your, that's your, your so dog, really? dogs on your... Dog hair and things on yeah. your sofa, if you let you know. And looking at this, we can all plug directly into that. Yeah, that's the idea of it, yeah. Or in the end of the main pole. Pole. But, but obviously it depends what you what you need to clean. So really, the other things that came with it can all just be stored in this bag yeah, as well. Yeah, it's quite neat. Yeah. That's a better angled one, that. Bit softer. So, That's what about nice. using that on this the sofa? This just this bit. That bit. And yeah, just showing sort of if you've got pets. The only thing is, obviously, sometimes you you can get like a turbo brush that is better for upholstery because it does pick up the things much like that other thing. Right. Okay. So that would agitate it and, and pick bits up as well. And obviously it doesn't. He's picking stuff up. Okay. We need to, it normally is a bit more powerful than that, but we need to charge it. Right, so, so let's do the empty. God, that's what everybody's waiting and for. And that's that's just literally us just messing about, not even a proper clean. This will be handed over to the professional very shortly. So, so you push that down. And you push that down yeah. and it empties. And you can just like take Give that it a shake. Yeah. Decent. So there we are, that is the really review for this back. I'm curious how this actually it goes up in the wall and that somehow when it hangs in. Slots in there. I'm not actually sure how that goes yet. Something like that, maybe. We'll just yeah, look in the like, manual. No, so, so that screws on the wall. Yeah. And then it, it hooks. There's a hook in there. Yeah. And there's a hook there, and it just sits just in there. Just literally hooks in. Okay. Yeah. Literally rest. It will rest in like that. By the looks of it, can't see how else it would go. So you just literally hook it on there like that. Yeah. Doesn't really say no. That's the sound goes. It's and it's 
doesn't look secure, but it, it is secure. Well, you can't push it any further forward because it's like blocking it, so. Also, we will fix this because it's quite the charging. So let's let go. Let's hold it there. So that's sit like and that. The weight of it is actually been, it's a clever design this because a simple click in, but the weight has been supported because it's against something so it can't So I'm slip. guessing what, I'm guessing the main pole slots in there as well. Yeah. Some, this somehow slots in there as well. Yeah. Some way. The other way. Just push it in. That so works. you keep everything together. And, and you can also have it charging while it's sat there like that. And I guess you can buy an extra pole to extend it if you want. Yeah. Right, but yeah, um, good product, really good product. Easy to use, straight out of the box. Needs a, needs a charge when you get it out of the box. Yeah. But obviously we're doing the video, as I said, so. Um, but I would normally have to charge things for, fully. Yeah, for what you get with it, you can't knock it and it's efficient. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. It's lightweight, it's easy to use. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Right, um, thanks for watching. I hope it helps. Um, welcome back. Just forgot to add this bit. So obviously we decided to charge it and it's flashing. Um, it'll probably go probably go green when it's fully charged. But there you go. Nice and easy.